Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here today with Caboose, who is joining us from mainland. He's actually a big part in the uh, TSP video we've recently filmed. And uh, so yeah, he's over in uh, Okinawa for a month. Well, he's not his last week, but you know, a month. And I uh, finally got a chance to get some filming going. So right now, just kind of showing off, I got a the Mitch helmet a while ago. I've actually got the uh, fitting helmet cover. And I actually kind of like the way it looks. It feels pretty good. And you got full seal goggles and everything going. And easy to pop off. They got the inserts ready. And yeah, so pretty excited about wearing this helmet. Maybe, uh, it's an actual Mitch, so it's got the weight and everything to it. So probably wear this for the next game or two. Kind of give the uh, ProTech a little break, see how this works out. So without further ado, Caboose. Yes. Your tirade. Your quick speech to the audience. Well quick switch off right off the bat. Uh, coming from mainland, they really, really, really stringent on full seal protection, so might as well get used to them now. Indeed. Fortunately, TSP was not full seal protection stringent. As I only had my uh, simple e ES... Shooting glasses with inserts. Yeah. The, uh, what are they? The ESS suppressors. There we go. Which are in the other room. Bam. And should we introduce your new uh, toys over here? Uh, no, that's kind of that's gonna be in the later review video. We're gonna do a quick re we're gonna do a review later on the uh, quick little holsters and stuff. But yeah, for right now, as far as everything's been going since I haven't posted in a while, where's my glasses? <laughs> Can't see anything. Glasses like my confidence. Oh, oh the shots a little low. Yeah, whatsoever. So anyway, so I got sick not that long ago, which sucked, and because I was sweating because it was hot and humid. And also because I was sick, I ended up shaving my sideburns. I'll probably grow back eventually, but... So, meantime, what's been going on? So, uh, the Mitch helmet, actually. Another thing I wanted to talk on about this. I got the custom pads inserted, so it's nice and squishy. And this Mitch helmet actually belonged to Redbeard. Just like the, uh, the Granite Gear battle belts I'm using. So, <laughs> nice gear. Let me try it. I never got to wear that thing. I never got to wear it. It's only been here for, like, a while. And it only recently got put back together, so that could be why. Yeah, because you're having a shit ton of trouble trying to get that screw out. Yeah, <laughs> red beard. I know you're watching. At least you should be watching. If you're not watching, that's even worse. But if you are watching, why did you put Loctite on the screw? I mean, you broke the first three out, but then the last one was ruined. But fortunately, my brother actually sent me another pair of rails that had extra screws with it, so we were able to swap it out. So I bought a drill, drilled out the screw, and then swapped out with new ones after spray paint and everything, so it looked fitting. It's not yep. old school. It's not the... Well, it's still the old school design. Well, the, little... the Mitch, big, for those not familiar with Mitch technology, it's basically a lighter helmet, and they removed the little outcropping of a brim, and basically made it straighter, so you can get closer eye, eye seals, you can get uh, NVGs to work better. And, yeah, it's got the same ear thing, so you can put on the uh, little single column piece. Theoretically, you can run swordants through this, but it's a lot heavier of a helmet. I'm not sure how much fun you can enjoy that pressing down the uh, little cover thing into your head the whole time. So, yeah, otherwise, really cool helmet. I really like this helmet cover. Unfortunately, it doesn't come in tan, so... Then again, I don't know. I actually ran most of the stuff through here. There was uh, holes in the back to run the, uh, the back part of the little cover thing on the outside, but on the front of the cover itself, I had to actually punch holes with a dagger, so... Well, for the custom modified, also classic. <laughs> I might take those off before a game, but yeah, yeah, you're yeah. gonna lose that real quick, probably. Well, I, I haven't lost them yet. They were on the play carry for a while. Luigi bringing up the rear. It's not, it's not like the Luigi they want you to believe in. It's a real classic Luigi that wears white, not the new one where they what was it the Game Boy Advance game they came out with where they put Luigi in green. No, no nonsense. They ruined Super Mario Brothers three too. They came out the was it the Game Boy Advance? Or no, the S the S Super Nintendo? No, no, no. They came out with uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, 3, but they did the remake, and they didn't keep the old sprites. They used new ones, so Luigi does that little kicky Don't jump there. That one. They got Super Mario Brothers 3 was probably one of the best, and definitely the classic Mario and Luigi was the way to go. So yeah, outside of me being sick, but still alive, um, it's hot and humid at Okinawa right now. Isn't it always? Oh, more so than usual. Oh, it could be because I'm on the back end of being sick. Oh, I've got like all this sinus fluid, but once that's cleared up, everything should be okay. Oh, uh, let's see what else has been going on. Um, to a few of the people who watched my video, 
particularly Jamie and also Eric. You guys, I miss you guys. God, those guys. Yeah, I know, right? Too bad they weren't here when I got here, when I finally came back. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, Jamie's a civilian now, and he seems to be rocking the civilian stuff. <laughs> and uh, Eric, if, you, if you're watching and you see those, uh, those two numbskulls, I have all their stuff. I'm going to be mailing it to you in the near future, so more on that later. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I ordered training pads, or training, not training plates, from Warrior Trails, so we'll be doing a review on those in the future, or at least I will. I don't know if he'll be here when they get here. I honestly believe you should have just got the AR-500 plates. <laughs> that is an argument up for debate. Because uh, with the AR-500 plates, there's, um, there's, I haven't found any anyone who's been willing to actually put them on and get shot in the chest, naturally. That's not what you pretend to do, but the argument is, for the AR-500 plates, from both sides. On one side, it's that they're they're heavier, but they work. So if they're too heavy for you, it's because you're weak. <laughs> and on the other side of the argument, in similar degrees of sarcasm, is that, oh, steel plates, it's so simple. It's almost brilliant. Why haven't we done this before? Probably because you'll die. So it came out with anti-spall coating. For a long time now. Yeah, we're, we're mostly focusing on like the actual impact of the round and then the vibrations and whether or not all your bones will break and your internal organs will turn to mesh. Is really what the is really what it comes down to. And they have the uh, was it the trauma pads trauma pads that came out. And the trauma pads seem pretty cool, but will they save you or not is up for the baby. And it does seem like if steel plates were as effective, uh, that they're not using them because they are too heavy and generally weight reduction is the way to go. And they only go up to level 3 protection. Yeah, oh, okay, so no 30 odd 8s. Okay. Well, it can take 308s, but it cannot take black tips. Yeah. Uh, I thought only level 4 gives a 30 odd 8 protection. I thought no, it was only like. 308 black tips, it can take those. Huh. But yeah, so there's the argument between if it's actually about stopping the bullet or if it's about preventing the force of the bullet from killing you through the blade. So, up for debate, I don't know. I would need to actually consult someone who's an expert on armor. So probably not someone who works for AR-500. I don't know. Ceramic guys are probably trusted. I don't know. It's... Unless you actually have someone who sets up, like, the ballistic gels. Not even just ballistic gel. You need to simulate the bone and all of the organs. Ah, and they be able to that. check those are The ballistic clay with uh, clay. armor plating in front of it. With the AR-500? Yeah. How'd that work? Um, it's actually pretty negligible. But the videos cool. out there is just had to find it. Hmm. So yeah, something something I'd definitely like to look into more if I can find anyone who's an expert on armor. Although, I would hope an expert on armor would watch my videos, if not in the future. But still, it'd be good stuff to get more information on. This helmet's so comfortable. Oh, I love it. I should have more squishy pads, though. I got, like, two of the standard issue ones, and they're on the sides, but... Eh. So yeah, all that aside, alive. Things are going well. Johnny's here for another week, yep. and... What's that for you guys? So yeah, we'll probably get some reviews going, and I got all the TSP footage. More important news. Well, oh, I cannot wait for the TSP footage. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> for making all that. More fun news, though. A little mini blooper. College for right now is over, so I got like two to three weeks off to actually work on the TSP footage. And that is pretty awesome. So I'll be doing that in this time. I've actually been catching up on all my long-lost gaming I've been done in a long time. Because... I ran out of Japanese classes, although fortunately, through some magic loophole, I'm able to take another Japanese class, which means I'll be able to skate pretty hardcore when classes do start back up. Skate. <laughs> it's all about that skate life. So yeah, I'll be able to knock those out. It'll be awesome. I'll get the TSP videos going. I'll work on reviews for gear. I ordered a Condor, I mean Cond Condor plate carrier to run the uh, training plates in for actual exercise because... Might as well use a cheapie to ruin it. Exactly. I mean, if it's Condurp, then if I run it and it starts shredding and falling, to par falling apart to little pieces, better in training than for any actual use. And that way I could just swap the plates into the LBT when we do real games. So, once the sickness falls off and I catch back up on all the uh, fitness I'm going to lose from just being sick, I'll be able to start working back on that, so that should be pretty gnarly. Uh, what else? Uh, other fun news. My hamster is actually right down here. He's trying to sleep through this video. Has cancer. Like, completely randomly. Apparently, all these uh, hamsters have like a 4% chance of getting cancer. And it won the lottery. Yeah, and then out of that 4% chance, there's like a 1% chance of it being a multiple 
gland cancer that can't be treated. So, he's a champ though, he's going through it, he's taking his hamster oxycontins every day and he seems relatively happy, despite slowly turning more and more undead as time passes. But yeah, he, uh, he basically, apparently hamsters can know when they got cancer, and he basically tried to shred and rip all of the cancer out of him. It like doesn't, boss. doesn't, you know, like a boss. It doesn't <laughs> seem to have worked, though, as hamster surgery is still relatively primitive. And yeah, especially with multiple, I mean, if it's a singular one, they can operate, but then the hamster needs, like, a few weeks to recover. But with multiple, he's pretty much, uh, probably not gonna make it, so it's just, hamster oxycontins until this time comes. I mean, he's already over two years old. Hamsters live like two and a half years, so he's missing out on like six months, but yeah, it sucks. Poor guy. Yeah. That's not hamster cancer. And let's see, what do we have to do? Jamie doing the Jamie things. Hi, being... <laughs> right, Jamie, if you're watching this, by the way, I have civilian life going. Feel free to comment down below. Yeah, I did Fine. not know you became a civilian until now. Yeah, so Jamie's a civilian. Not sure what Eric's doing. Eric's doing his thing. Eric's not watching Deadpool at the movie theater with me right now. <laughs> I know that much. So there's that. Good movie. Saw the uncensored version. Is it good? I need to go watch it. <laughs> Just go watch it later. I think they're still playing it on base. Oh, what else is that? Um, also, sometime next month, I'll be able to start working on my firefighting stuff to work on base through the Japanese side. And graduation. Was it May, June, July time frame? I should be fully graduated with a bachelor's degree nice. and two certificates. One minor in business and then the other for the Japanese language certificate. GLPD. Yeah, so that'll be pretty gnarly to see what I can do with those. I think I'm just holding this helmet because it makes me more comfortable in front of the camera. Which is why I was mentioning we should grab the shotgun earlier, but. What shotgun? Yeah, you haven't seen the breacher? Oh, yeah, you're sure that. Yeah, of course, should the breacher. This guy. So yeah, well, uh, I'll get it working. In the meantime, while I work on the TSP videos, I'm going to do a few reviews for you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. So stay chivalrous, everyone. I'll see you next time. This guy.